Hello, it's uh, Andy Prothero and Llewellyn from PCR Global just doing the fourth video of the ISO 31000 videos that I'm putting out there for the IIRSM Wales branch. In the last video, I mentioned the principles, that's the eight principles of risk management according to, to ISO 31000 and then I said that I will sort of go into them individually. So the first one, uh, we, as we mentioned last week, which is part of figure two, and that is integrated. So it says 31,000 tells us that risk management must be integrated into all sort of parts and functions of the organization. So risk management should be integrated into the organization. I think we all understand what integrated is, but what do we mean by risk management as we, and what do we mean by part of the organization? So we've got to understand those two things first. So when we think about risk management, that's a coordinated, coordinated activities uh, to that guide and control the organization or direct the organization with regards to risk. So that coordination tells us that's some, some type of structure there, um, which is actually the second principle. Yeah, so risk management, the coordinated activities that guide and direct an organization for risk. And then that must be integrated throughout uh, the organization. Well, let's... We've really got to understand what an organisation really is, haven't we? The majority of organisations have a number of core processes and support processes. And if we think of those core processes, realistically, if we start with operations, which is usually the second of four main core processes, operations, come back one now to, to, to the first one, that's marketing, because you've got to sell your products, haven't you? You've got to sell your services, so people need to know sort of who you are. So the first recognizable core function I, I tend to think about is that marketing so risk management must be involved in marketing and then obviously delivery of services or, or, the, or making of products that's the second element so that's operations um, then ultimately we've got people we need people to do that so risk management must be you know, embedded into people people must understand it and, and how to apply it themselves as HR and then the fourth one is that finance so getting the money back if we've delivered a service, then ultimately we're going to want to be paid for that service, aren't we? So that's, that's really important as well. Um, so that's the main sort of core functions. So the first principle is integrated. Risk management must be integrated throughout the organisation. If we think about what risk management is, that's the coordinated activities to guide the organisation. And then also just understand what those functions are or the main functions of an organisation, which are marketing, operations the people who do those operations hr and then and then finance now we do have support functions of course don't we hazard identification risk assessment it safety procurement um uh, our, our our auditing processes so ultimately they're support sort of support functions aren't they uh, built up of processes of course so that's it integrated risk management must be integrated within all activities uh, and functions within the organization thank you very much for watching slay was obviously a little more tired today because we've been out for a good while and he's had a bit of a restless night thanks for watching stay safe stay healthy and always stay productive